You know, for Nagisa, that puzzle was actually pretty... It actually mirrored his, pers uh, his personality relatively well. So I wonder if uh, P.E. is going to have the same thing where it's going to be all fighting for the puzzle. And that opens up the lane. Okay. Moi, they stand there for a while. So next time I can just do it all right away. Okay. That is straightforward enough for me. A puzzle worthy of P.E. himself. That P.E. idiot must live here. This room reeks of insecurity and overcompensation. Do you have some kind of grudge against athletic does people, it? Togo? I mean, does sports immediately mean overcompensation? Ooh, shiny. Doubt about it, Monica is the best. As long as the. Da, da. Oh, you were reading right to left, I think. Just trust in Monica, and even brain rinsing is easy as pie. Oh, great. I guess we're getting the lesson on this, how this works. As long as they wear the Monokuma head, everyone's our ally. If this keeps up, the paradise will be completed in no time. And when that happens, I'll bring peace to the entire world next. Toko, about this brain rinse part. He clearly means brainwash. Brainwashing? He's not the smartest. Does that really exist? I've only seen that in science fiction. No, that level of technology was developed long ago. Technology like that can't exactly be advertised to the public, can it? I figured this was the case. Call. The masterminds made the other kids wear those helmet things to brainwash them. That's even more reason we gotta stop the adults from fighting the children. I mean, if they were under mind control, they aren't really to blame at all, right? I know how you feel, but it's better if you don't think about that. Huh? What do you mean? I know that you're growing, but I have a bad feeling about this. The way you've grown... Uh... I feel like this whole situation has been a setup. How? Wait, wait, how? How do you, like, force someone to grow in a certain way? I mean, are we saying someone other than Nagito who wants us to win and for his stupid, stupid reasons, but someone other than, like, is Monica setting it up? Set up? By who? The one who teamed up with that white-haired guy, trying to bring you all the way here. No, that, that's something that I'm actually unclear on. Um, Nagito sort of said that he teamed up with Monica, but was he actually was he actually implying when he we were told that he teamed up with someone that was Monica, or is, is that just something that's different? And here you are, right in the kids' HQ. It's exactly as that person planned. But even if that's true, if I just run away, I can't do anything about this war, right? Right, but... It's going to be alright. I don't know whose idea this was, or why they're doing this, but... But I'm gonna run in headfirst and probably kill myself because I'm doing something stupid as now. As long as we stop this violence, nothing else matters. No, 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 other things matter. Many things matter other than that. Once you start getting very barrel visioned, you're gonna start having some issues. Come on, Kamaro, don't do that. You're right. We've come this far. Only thing to do now is believe in ourselves and go for it. You're really starting okay. to sound like him now. 
This is really starting to give me a bad feeling now. <laughs> you think? Don't blush. <sighs> it's just like I said, brother complex. My good, you are a romance writer, so I suppose you know you would know what a brother complex is, right? Okay, P.E., why was your life so fuck? <sighs> that useless shitty brat. I ordered my son to go buy alcohol. I even gave him the money. And he comes back home empty-handed. He said something about not having an ID or something. <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? I trained the boy. Made him go do it more one more time. And he comes back with alcohol. The next day, the cops show up. Apparently, the little stitch stole it. The brat humiliated me, but I trained him good as... I trained him good as soon as the cops left. I hate my son's face when I'm teaching him a lesson. The smile he forces that'll so that I'll stop hitting him creeps me out. You can't just cry or yell like a regular kid. Shit. I got myself a defective product. Okay, so angry parent. So we have crazy loving parent who really doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. We have loathing parent who regrets it. And we have angry alcoholic. And Nagi says are probably going uh, poppin'. Um, also poppin'. Oh, oh, oh my. Well, um, Nagisa, you got some great invisibility on your robot there. Nagisa seems like the type who'd have parents who actually would care for him. Like, insane parents, but... It's baiting on switching subjects. I cannot obtain the results I expected with my experiment. I cannot discern... Oh, right. His thing was about how his parents were basically experimenting on him. Hmm. I cannot discern whether the environment or the subject himself is the problem. I shall look into the experiment conditions in more detail. Until now, I have used slow, uh, solely visual observation, but I should erect cameras to watch the subject at all time and discipline the subject when resting no longer is no longer allowed. If I do not obtain the, any desirable results with the experiment, I will conclude the problem lies with the subject and change my experimental target. So you're saying Nagi says expendable. Great! You're a good person. You're a great person. That's definitely how you want to treat your son. <sighs> that Monica girl was the only one who didn't have a room. <laughs> what? She gets special treatment or something just because she's the mastermind? <laughs> yeah, just because. Uh, who would have thought? I also think she was the only one really in the loop on anything anyway, so... Maybe she'll be smart enough for her robot to not have a weak point. Especially not like a big one in the middle of the chest. This is a real office, huh? Do you think I could ever have my own office someday? I think another ice age would come before you end up in a place like this. Did I just see, oh, I just saw something fly and then I see more things fly. And that's not a great, a great thing to see fly. I think there's a bomber monokuma somewhere near here. So I'm gonna proceed to kill that. If I were a sparkly, where would I hide? Probably in one of these, but clearly I do not have the mentality of a sparkly right now. Where are you going? Um I'm exploring. What about you? Apparently, I can't explore. Well, great. It's no use. It's not budging. Do we need a card key? Like we did for the elevator at Toa Tower? Then we can't use this elevator, huh? But it doesn't look like the other elevator's gonna move, so we have to work with this one. Wait a minute. Would Haiji maybe have a card key? He is the heir to the Toa group. Even if he did, that coward mole is in the middle of a fight with his Big Bang Monokuma. The coward mole you're talking about. That wouldn't be me, would it? No, no, that would be you. That would definitely be you. Hi, G. 
Luigi! Why are you here? Same reason you're here. You're looking for the device to control Monokumas, right? You too? The Monokumas from all over Toa swarmed me all at once. Even with Big Bang, there were too many. <laughs> oh. So, Big Bang Monokuma's gone? Or was it taken from you? Big difference, because that changes the circumstances entirely. The changed. Destroy the controller first. Make the enemy lose their edge. After the Monokumas are out of the picture, we're just dealing with kids. We can turn this around. Is that... Shirakuma's advice? Huh? So what if it is? Uh, no, nothing. But I had no idea you two were already here. No wonder we didn't run into too many of them. Anyways, we? good timing. Do you have a car key for this elevator? Good question. He should. This seems like it's gonna be a no, though. You don't need a card key for this. This elevator only works with retinal identification. Ah, great. Does your eye work, or are we gonna have to go find some corpse? Retinal? Is that an animal? Retinal means I... But why is it locked in the first place? This lock shouldn't be on unless it's been manually set. Last time I saw it was open. So who locked it? Don't tell me. Is this also her doing? She trying to toy with me? Let's play the pronoun game. Clearly you're talking about Monica. To yourself and open it. Your eyes will work fine, won't they? No. The only thing that can release the lock is the eyes of Toa Group's chairman. The chairman? Your father? You said he was missing. Missing, right. I only said that because I didn't want to admit it. So we're gonna go do some grave robbing. Old man Hell dead. yeah. The kids killed him. What? I don't think they are. Wait a minute. If he was killed, then retinal scanning isn't even gonna work anymore. No, as long as we have his eyes, the scanner should still work. Yeah. Yeah. Corpse. Corpse Robin. So, all we gotta do is bring the old man's body back here. Well, part of his body. His body? Yeah. I think that's what whoever locked this door wanted me to do. After all, his body is on this floor. Oh, he's... You're sure about that? On this floor? Yeah, on this floor for sure. He was killed right before my eyes. Hmm. The old man was killed in the chairman's office on this floor. Throat torn out by Monokumas. I... I ran away, but... I'm sure his body is still in the office. The chairman's office should be at the end of the hall over there. I'll leave the rest to you. Oh, my goodness. You're going to make two teenage girls go get a co dead corpse? Oh, goodness. You're not coming with us? If I have to go along with their sick little games, I'd rather give up entirely. Besides, it might be faster to just destroy this whole building with Big Bang Monokuma. So you didn't lose it. Okay. What are you talking about? We're still in this building. I know, I know. I'm just kidding. I'm not sure you were. I think you have it as a backup plan in the back of your head. I don't think it's your first choice, but I don't think you're kidding. Hi, G. He's acting different now for some reason. And who's the her he mentioned? Let's try hmm. the chairman's office. Although, I can't say I'm excited about what we'll find. Oh, we'll find something great. We'll find something amazing. Maybe we'll find nothing. Because, okay, so at the end of the last chapter, Monica was talking about having her mother and father with her, right? In her little torture room thingy. Um, hmm. 
So either she had corpses there that she really one of them she relocated back. I'm also assuming that she's Toa, because Haiji's words and everything else about her makes no sense unless she is his little sister or something. If we miss a step, we're finished. He might say it's <laughs> game over. Ah, <laughs> uh, great. Um, why can't I just do this now? Apparently I can't do it because... Like this? Did they really have to make this level harder? Who's they? We're getting really fourth wall breaky at the moment. Sumerays. You can't catch me, ha 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 ha. Can you throw it? Can they throw it over? Yes, they can throw it over. Okay, into the door, into the door. Hey kids, I I don't want to hurt you, so just sit there quietly and don't agitate any of the adults. They're so sort of crazy right now, crazier than you guys were. She's scared of blood. Ugh. I was so shocked. I really drew out that last word. I've seen worse. In a Dangaropa game, not in real life. Toko? What? Did you find it? I did, but what should I do? It's laying on the floor. Looking at me. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Kamaru. You don't have to give me the details. If you don't think it'll work. But if we give up now, we won't be able to get through. And then all the people of the town might end up like this. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it. Her, um... Oh, goodness. She did something I was not expecting her to do. I figured she was going to drag the corpse back, but... Did she really just take the eye out? What's that paper bag? No, wait, never mind. I don't want to know. Oh, my goodness. I wonder. I wonder. It's, 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 it's sort of a hunch right now, but... Uh, I don't... I, I think I have an idea of what the this this gives me a feeling on what like the setup is for. Probably better if you don't. Okay, let's head back to the retinal scanning place. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, maybe I should use this. Moving across a steel frame while pushing over mechanical bears. This is getting crazy. Okay, I'm just going to... Okay, it's developed a little in my mind now, so I feel a bit better of a app out actually talking about it. Um, so... What could they po What could Monica possibly gain from helping Kamaro get here? When I think about it... How have all the kids worked? How have all the ultimate despair worked? They haven't actually changed their personality. They're just given this perspective on the world that completely put the, uh, puts them in the most hopeless possible concept. It puts them in this situ- Ooh. It puts them in this situation where they feel despair is the only thing left in the world. And... I can imagine, in many times, if you're going to be driven to that level of depression, that you'd have to have the like greatest hope just taken from you, and you'd have to almost have become numbed, uh, numb to despair. I guess my idea is what I'm thinking Monica's trying to do is I think she's trying to turn Kamaro into an ultimate despair, 
And I feel as though the message she's trying to send is to take Nayagi's little sister, make her into ultimate despair, and counteract what symbol he is for the world. Because until he's gone, a true successor to the ultimate despair really couldn't be around, at least not at the competency and the level of effectiveness the old one was, right? So I think, I think that's what Monica's trying to do. I could be completely wrong, but I, 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 I think it, it just dawned on me when Kamaro was perfectly willing to basically mut uh, mutilate a corpse in order to go through with the plan, to get through with it. She wasn't happy about it, but she, she seemed like she was starting to become numb to the concept of despair of being in that feeling where it's not that big it's not as big of a deal anymore which made me think of that so okay a complete manual for marriage prep with just this one book you're safe from womb to tomb from engagement to divorce we have completely covered the know-hows of anything and everything related to marriage learn the abc's of marriage i'm willing to bet toko has something to say on this i guess there are some books that might be of use once in a while <laughs> be of use for what don't mess with me for proposing to master obviously once we're out of here I'll we'll make a vow right away oh you can't do that toko can't what do you mean I can't are you saying that master rejecting me is a foregone conclusion that I should just give up no I'm saying that if you keep talking like that you're totally raising your death flag huh oh you don't know a, a death flag um... Like, uh, uh, imagine a mystery novel. When a bunch of people are trapped in, in a mansion, one guy always says something like, There's no way I'm staying and runs off alone. Talking like that or making a dumb decision pretty much mean they're gonna die. A death flag. <sighs> I know what it is. I just don't believe in a stupid jinx like that. Toko, no, that's also a death flag. <laughs> what? I, I can't say that either? Characters who don't believe in curses or the power of God always get killed <laughs> off. That might be true, but... Jeez! Jeez, stop raising all these death flags! Now we're really in a pinch! What's going on? How much do you believe in that stuff? Jeez. All right. Since that's the case, we have no choice but to raise the survival flag. You huh? see. In, a tear uh, in tear jerking dramas, surgeries that have a low success rate always miraculously work, right? And in anime, whenever you think the main character is going to lose, somehow they win. So we have to raise the survival flag. Activate super low probability principle. Um, okay. What do we do? What do we do? The probability that we're going to feed the children is mere 1%. Oh no, there's no way we can win against them. I'm just a normal high school girl and stuff. That's pretty much the first thing you told me when we met. <laughs> well, yeah, I've been trying to raise my survival flag ever since. Okay, if Kamaro's just been like superstitiously being a tactician this entire time, that's bullshit. The character who tries too hard to die, uh, who tries too hard dies early too. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what I learned today? Today I learned Monokumas. Today I learned lots of Monokumas. There's my death flag. Uh, today I learned everything is a death flag. Taking it out of the bag. Uh. Yeah, you do it. You hurry up and do it already. Don't rush me. Oh. I really like her voice actress. She really sells uh, Kamaro's emotions. What, they didn't have an animated cutscene for that? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, come on. We all want to see the disembodied eye, right? Well, we don't right. need it anymore, right? Just, just throw it. Uh. No, 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 I, I can't. I'll get divine punishment. Divine punishment? Sensing ghosts? That's enough of your occult stories. Divine punishment is a fiction the living created. The dead have no power. That might be true, but... Miss. Why? Huh? Toko? Did 
Did you say something? Uh oh. Don't tell me that's the PA messing <laughs> with us. I didn't say anything. Th that's strange. For some reason, I thought I heard a voice. I was just telling you to stop with that stuff. Miss. Miss. And only Kamaro can See? hear it. I hear it again. <laughs> okay, let, let's all focus on Kamaro's face for a little while here. Let's just look at the beauty that they put into that drawing. That wonderful, wonderful drawing of Kamaru. Oh my goodness. Oh my fucking Christ. That is amazing. I love that. I, I like that drawing so fucking much right now. <laughs> that is the best. What? What happened? What are you shouting about all of a sudden? you now's not the time for fooling around i'm serious miss you're horrible throwing my head away like that i i, I am sorry I, I was surprised i i dropped it on accident i didn't mean to huh i i i'm really sorry i apologize please don't curse me this is really late in the game for just some random side story, so this has to be signif this has to be significant, right? Curse you. There's no way I do something so lonely. I just want you to listen. Lo oh my goodness, this guy sounding like Byakua. Listen. Kamaru, get a hold of yourself. You're hallucinating. My name is Tokuichi Toa. I was the chairman of Toa Group in the past. Uh, I know. You're Mr. Haiji's father, right? I see. You know Haiji. Then do you know his little I sister, Monica, too? Knew it. I think I called that, like, in the third episode or something when I first met her. Oh. She had just so many resources. It's like the only play, the only family you could come from and have those resources. Little sister, Monica. 